Wait, I'm late! Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have a bunch of news, including a new weekly rotation. We also have some UI changes that I'm going to be talking about and stuff like that, but we will get into those later into this video. Let's talk about what's on the screen right now. As you guys can see from this intro, we have a new pop-up shop for this weekly. Kind of casual, we have the moon on the floor and some of the holes being like little chill spots. And then we kind of have like this little board where it just has this rocket, some stars, some other stars and planets i'm guessing and our items kind of bland if you look at it from afar i'm not gonna lie but i guess from like a social standpoint it's pretty cool though inside this shop we have a uh, three new items and a bunch of other items as you guys can see these are the moon and stars eye mask and the moon and stars onesie which are actually super expensive we'll talk about this in addition with the set we also have slippers now in the game but to be honest they don't like show your feet or anything with full body avatars it sucks which kind of sucks i I wanted my feet out, yo. I would have bought this right now if I had my feet out, but it, it doesn't. It gives you socks. Anyways, though, this set is super expensive and almost 10,000 tokens for shoes, let alone a, a torso. What are your guys' thoughts on this? And be sure to let me know if you guys want Requiem to either continue this trend or not. It's so new to us that honestly, it's kind of bizarre to believe that this is 10,000 tokens and it's going to go on my feet. It's getting too real, man. It's getting too real. Requiem should totally change this board too, by the way. I I'm sick and tired of seeing the same message. I want to see it update weekly, but that's just me anyways though stepping aside from the weekly real quick i actually have some ui news i want to talk about if you guys look at the play menu inside your watch you guys will notice that there's two new carousels that have been pushed all the way up established in rec room and feature these have been fairly successful for rec room so i'm glad that people are checking these out and stuff like that and keep supporting these rooms hope you guys like them and be sure to let me know what your guys' favorite room from the established in rec room or feature tab is i'm interested to see now for our rec center shop we have no new items unfortunately but we do have this wicked sorcerer staff. We also have the barbarian tunic, the steampunk vest, the luchador cape, the conductor jacket, the cowboy hat, hero crown, goth outfit, and knight cape. I'm pretty sure we have nothing new for this seasonal item though. In other news, we have actually gotten our weekly this week, and we actually don't really have like any weekly rotation image to show it off, but we do actually have a weekly. To top this off, we have a new featured creator called TC Gaming Bro. He's 15, he was a MakerPen Q&A host, a MakerPen master, um, TC Gaming Bros are our our gallery six times the owner of ink spill he joined february 21st 2020 that's crazy and he's already a featured creator he was in retcon 2022 and 2023 booths and he's top 375th for jumbotron now for this weekly skin we have you know challenges and stuff like that i already completed it though so i couldn't you know list off the challenges or anything like that because i don't know them but i will have you know an image on the screen right now showing you guys the challenges and stuff and i i hope they're easy but i know there's like three you know types of challenges where you have to do 10 games or something so it kind of sucked when I was doing it. I'm not going to lie. It took forever and I streamed it as well. And I, uh, you know, talked about this before, but I haven't really, you know, done it. I've talked about streaming me, you know, completing the weekly before. And then I end up not streaming me, you know, completing the weekly. And it's kind of like a just chatting stream. I think I'm going to save those more for like late streams and stuff like that. And I might make more main day streams, you know, me getting the weekly or something like that. Just so there's more variety. Plus I want to start streaming more and I need to get myself into a routine. And this week is another weekly rotation list week. I gotta say it, there's no image last week and there's no image this week. And that's because the Requiem developer that normally does it is on vacation, though he is coming back because he's, you know, waiting for his airplane right now. I hate to complain, but there's there's definitely gotta be an easier way to do it, for sure. And here are the new events. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Before I show you the new events, did you know that I have a code inside of Rec Room? Yes, that's right! It's SK0L. It's totally free and it's quite literally just my name. Or you guys can go through the hassle-free method and you guys can just go to my profile and click that support button. If you guys don't know already, any purchase you make inside of Rec Room, whatever you spend, basically gives me 7.5% of what you actually decide to spend and stuff like that, and it actually disappears in 45 days. So if you supported me recently, be sure to check if you're still supporting me. Anyways, um, events, right? <laughs> Just, just use my code. Now, to me, a non Requiem developer, it really just seems like an image that Requiem developers make. And this, you know, said image could just be transferred onto the responsibility of someone else. But maybe, you know, there's something along the pipeline of making this image where, you know, one certain person's required to do it. So it really just seems like an image that anyone can kind of put into the weekly channel. I, I don't know. It's been done before, but it just kind of sucks that it doesn't really happen that often. In addition, Requiem also released the Requiem Gallery video. If you 
you guys don't know what Requiem Gallery is, it's basically just like a showcase where Requiem Builders can show off their best artistic inventions. It's pretty cool, I definitely check it out, you can also check it out in game if you guys are interested and don't want to watch it on video. And I actually have some Requiem game news to talk about. If you guys aren't already aware and haven't heard of Sword Summit, a second version has been released! Sword Summit 2 has been unleashed inside an announcement from Ink Overflow. Join us in our brand new sequel to the classic sword fighting room, Sword Summit. We've been working hard on this room and here's what's new. Brand new 100% original environment that we made. All 3D models and textures were created by us. 10 sorting fighting arenas and we have places to fight with solo dueling, FFA, practicing, and competitive ranked. The competitive ranked arena, you can fight against your rivals in the best 2 out of 3 match to boost your ELO ranking. They also have practice arenas where you can, you know, have secluded arenas perfect for practice without worrying about stats. There's stat tracking where you can track your kills, death, KD ratio, ELO, and kill streak. Stats are now available on screens next to the arena you're dueling in. For number 5, there's progression systems and you can defeat your foes to get XP and level up. Leveling up awards you with room currency which you can use to buy rewards without tokens. Your level is displayed by your player name and also is required to unlock certain rewards such as level based titles, brand new cape costume cosmetics, arena transformations, customizable dueling music, cutting edge CV2 powered sword fighting, and then there's no more prehistoric game rules CV1 chip. There's lots of performance improvements and the room might struggle on very low devices such as Quest 2 and there are 10 plus people, but seeing very very solid FPS on all other platforms. Now lastly, there's lots and lots of bug fixes from Summit 1 and they fixed falling through arenas, fixed dual wielding, fixed extendo arms, fixed invincibility inside arenas, and lastly, fixed stuttering when players joined a room. And the name is Sword Summit 2. I'll have the rec.net link down inside the description below. But I do have some news about this room. This room, unfortunately, is not out yet. There was actually a snag with room progression, and the developers on this actual room are forced to unpublish to fix with it. This didn't end up happening though, and I had to hold off on republishing for another day. And it's still not out as the time I record this video, but I'm sure it'll be out soon. Definitely check it out though if you guys have a chance to in-game, and I'm sure, you know, by a relative good time by the time you're watching this video, it'll probably be out. If it's out, good, but if it's not out, just give it maybe a day or two, trust. Ink Overflow also had some more news about their game Uno, and it's temporarily down while they do some investigations. They hope to republish this with a brand new update soon, and I'll cover that one. So if you guys are a fan of the Requiem community game Uno, it's probably gone for you right now. And yeah, just so you guys are aware, whenever I do news and stuff like that, I may also talk about Requiem community games as well, because I want to start talking about their updates and stuff like that. It's interesting, and of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. Also, if you guys weren't already aware, whenever you guys look at leaderboards now, you guys will see yourself compared to the global people. So you guys will see your ranked compared to the global wins in whatever, you know, leaderboard you're looking at. You'll be at the bottom while it displays the top nine. Of course, what are your guys' thoughts on this UI change for the leaderboard? And be sure to let me know. I don't know if this is fairly new, but I think it's pretty new, though I'm not too sure. <laughs> We can't afford, you know, that song on air. It, we're too broke. Now, if you want visual effects for the next time I decide to do a cringy skit like that, then be sure to join my membership. The people in my membership, aka my bookies, aka the people that give me their hard-earned cash once a month, are Nat the Pup, Virtual Reality, Jack Tutorial, Mufi, Sony Robot, Logan from Hell, Able Colors, Espos Maniac, Manuel Lopez, Delgado, Nub Dub, Demonkey VR, BB Burning Owl, Zipical, Bucket Guy, Yo and Shaky, Trevor A, Raphael, Cloud, and Netflix 69, Fox David, and Dozer Blade Cat. Now, believe it or not, I didn't read someone's name, but that's because their channel is deleted and I'm too lazy to update the screenshot. So, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> of course, if you are a part of the membership and are a squidling and I don't read out your name and stuff like that, don't think I don't appreciate you because I still do. Thank you guys so much and you guys make up most of my membership. Thank you guys for the love and let's continue on with this video. There was also an announcement in Inking talking about room highlights and it said it needs some more time. Good news! Submissions for the first batch of the highlighted rooms has been extended to one more week to April 17th to allow for more quality rooms. So submit your 2.0 room before 12 PST next Wednesday. You can read the rules and submit here at that link and there's a new plan launch date and that date is on April 19th. That's all for now and thanks at everyone. I'll have that link of course down in the description below if you guys are interested. Now I have one last bug for this video and it's 
it's honestly quite literally a weird one. Players were inside a rec center, and the only thing that they could open inside their watch was just this screen. They had no watch inside this rec center, and it's super weird. All it displayed were the settings, and quite literally, that's it so i don't know what's going on here i don't know if it's hacked or if it was a bug or anything like that but if you guys have had a similar experience be sure to let me know down inside the comments below super strange and if you guys have an explanation let me know down inside the comments now new community games room highlights and expensive slippers out of the way we have finally concluded this video and be sure to let me know if you guys actually enjoyed it or not thank you guys for watching to this point and if you guys like this video feel free to like it as well as checking out my second channel i appreciate all the love people and be be sure to subscribe, but now it's time I punch you. Bro fist. Nee!